this is a story about how to make a graph in Excel and make a graph in Mathematica uh, of some experimental data. So this is the FET simulation that we used in class to gather data for Lab 3. Um, I've changed the data since I recorded it in Excel, but we have a bunch of charges with a tape measure, and then I put down a bunch of sensors to measure the electric field at a bunch of different places. So a data point is this distance. So 520 centimeters to this point, and then the, this, uh, this field value isn't in the spreadsheet because the charges have changed, but this is the electric field value I would read. So uh, for a different charge distribution, I recorded this list of distances and this list of electric fields. I also uh, computed the total charge, measured the L, and computed lambda. So um, one way of evaluating the prediction we did, the integral, is to plug in right here. So to plug in the actual result of the interval. So you see I coded this in. So L9 is K, B9 is lambda, B7 is L, and then this business in the bottom is the divisor, which is simplified from the integral. So uh, when I plugged in that integral and computed it for all of my data points, it seemed like the error was less than 5% in most cases. There were lots, a lot of error when I was really close. And this last data point is also goofy. Um, I didn't want to make this comparison in Excel though, because this is this predicted integral is is a line. And so evaluating the line at a bunch of places isn't as great as just plotting the line. So here's my experimental data that this data from the FET simulation. So this is my experimental data. This is my data to be formatted for Mathematica. So Mathematica takes ordered pairs, so x, so h is x, and y, electric field is y, and then it takes them in braces, curly braces, comma, number, curly brace, comma. So I did this via a formula. So I'm saying this height in meters is this height in centimeters divided by 100. And this field is just shifted straight over. So I copied and pasted all of that. You highlight it, copy and paste, and then go into Mathematica. You can paste that data right here. So the same data is right here. So there's all the data from my Excel spreadsheet. So you see height, electric field, height, electric field. That's in curly brace list called data. So shift enter evaluates and then one of the commands in Mathematica that's useful is list plot. So that just plots the raw data. Um, if I want to plot the theory I need to define these constants first and then shift enter. All right, so the constants are all evaluated. So here's K, here's L, here's Q. Right, 10 nanokilohms isn't much. And here, right here, so this is the plot command. So I'm going to plot. Here's the result of my integral. K lambda L over H, H plus L. I'm plotting that from H values of 0.05 to 5.5. And, and the plot range all is just to make sure all the data is showing. So there's a plot of what my theory looks like. Now, you noticed up above the plot of experimental data is P1, so P1 equals. The plot of theory is P2, P2 equals. So if I show, so if I show P1 and P2, and I set the plot range and add to the axes label, I can make a nice comparison of data and theory. So there we have it. The line is my integral, the dots are my measurement. Um, it's hard to do this in Excel, so I like doing this kind of comparison in Mathematica. Note this isn't a trend line, this solid line is the result of an integral. 
Um, it's hard to actually evaluate it here because the electric field is so small. So instead of plotting the raw data, we can plot the data in log scale. So you see 5, 10, 50, 100, this would be 200, this would be 300. So this electric field is in log scale now. When we plot it in log scale, you see that the agreement between data and theory is quite nice, except at the very end, at the very beginning. The switch to make a plot in log scale is instead of saying list plot, it's list log plot. Instead of saying plot, it's log plot. Those are the only switches. So that's the comparison. This is a nice way to make a figure that you can evaluate um, a theory and data with. If you properties click this, you can save the graphic as a PDF or a PNG, or you can just copy and paste it into Word. That's it.